what would be the minimum value of Bitcoin Satoshis to be able to be a reserve currency? So I don't know if I went on the right track on this and maybe I overcomplicated it, but uh, let's jump in and look at a couple of things. First of all, I pulled the top 115 global currencies on Earth and then took their current value, their current market cap, and valued it in Bitcoin. <laughs> so that's step one. Uh, and it's kind of an interesting exercise to me anyway. I love these types of questions. But if you look at this list, and this is just the top of the list, I'll share the full list and all the data within Patreon. If anyone is interested, drop a comment below. Um, but you can see the biggest reserve currency on Earth is the Chinese yuan. It's nearly two... What's that? Market cap, that's in Bitcoin. <laughs> it's nearly uh, 2 billion Bitcoin worth of market cap. Sorry, the circulating on the right is that 275 trillion. And there's approximately 7 won per US dollar, just to put things in perspective. You see other things down the list. In fact, if you scroll down to row 27, you'll see Bitcoin on there. Bitcoin is now ranked the 27th largest currency on Earth. The circulation is about 19.3 million. Um, currency and sats, obviously 100 million sats per Bitcoin. And it's kind of interesting to see that stat rank as another one. But the, the other currencies, China, US, Europe, Japan, Britain, Korea, India, Canada, etc., all the way down the line. The second step I took was obviously the most, just for fun, the most expensive currencies and sats, because we we're going to turn those all back into sats anyway in a few minutes uh obviously bitcoin is the most expensive but the second most expensive currencies i.e this is the highest value per base unit is worth 3.3 us dollars and that is the kuwaiti dinar followed by the bahrain dinar followed by the omani real followed by the jordanian dinar and they're all tend to be you know about three dollars a pop each and in sats of course we can't forget the sats. You can see where they pop up there. Um, the Kuwaiti dinar, for example, is nearly 16,000 Satoshis. So that's a lot compared to about 5,000 for the US dollar, just under 5,000 right now. Then just to give you a visual of how big the top currencies are compared to the small ones, you know, if you pull out the China, US and Europe, maybe Japan, the rest are crumbs in relation. But also, it's interesting, when you start doing that benchmark against population, it is staggering. I, in order to save time, I actually ran those numbers too. It's fascinating to see that there's not a lot of currency and not a lot of value that goes around in certain countries. You can guess uh, some of them as well as we go forward. But that is fascinating. Compared to the US, has a huge chunk of currency and only 4% of the population. Next, um, I looked at some currency stats. So if you look at the sum of all the currencies of what it would take in Bitcoin today, turning the value of all the fiat into Bitcoin, you would need about 6.1 billion Bitcoin to cover that. The average amount of Bitcoin per country for the 115 countries is about 53 million Bitcoin. The minimum is eight. The max is China with nearly 2 billion Bitcoin. So that is kind of Fascinating to see. And there's a reason for that is because of this, the answer to your question. And sorry for the long-winded uh, roundabout process. But here, if you look at the number of Bitcoin to support all of the value of all of the fiat today, that would be 6.13 billion Bitcoin. Of course, there will never be more than 21 billion. So I divide that by 21 million. And you get a factor of 292. You turn all of the Satoshis based on 21 million Bitcoin into a number. And that is... Uh, Wow, I always get confused now. Uh, I think it's 2.1 quadrillion divided by 292 gives you 6.84 trillion. Basically, the magic number here is you only need one three hundredth of the Satoshi supply to act as a global reserve currency, replacing all fiats. And that gives plenty of room for population growth and everything else. And of course, you could also divide Satoshis down further if you needed to, but you don't need a lot. And that's how huge fiat is and how... I would divvy it up uh, across all global reserve currencies. If we ever get there, we don't know if we will or not. But after what's happened over the last week, the world definitely needs something a little more stable than fiat.